What's going on guys? Welcome back to Carbo Kane and we are continuing the Surging Sparks case that we started opening on launch day. Um, obviously spacing these videos out a little bit purely because I'm trying to keep to the one case, uh, the one case buy-in at this point. Um, unfortunately not off to an amazing start to this set in terms of luck and all that kind of stuff. So I didn't pull anything amazing out of my, uh, my PR kits or the PR tournament. I didn't really pull anything great out of that first booster box and the single and triple check lanes. A little bit of a doozy, a little bit worrying, but, uh, you know, hopefully, hopefully we, uh, start to, uh, really kick it into gear on this one because... I did say that I'll probably go buy and trade for all the singles I need. But I don't want to do it for the high value ones. No one ever does. No matter who you are, you don't want to do that. Alright? So... Oh wow, Quaxley for Coco. It'd be funny if I got the Spigatito with the same go just then. It'd be pretty funny. Um... Yeah, and I also mentioned in the last video that I don't think there's many... The opponent counts the cards in their hand, shuffles those cards and puts them in the bottom of the deck if they do... Wait, what? <laughs> Your opponent counts the cards in their hand, shuffles those cards, and puts them on the bottom of their deck. If they do, they draw that many cards. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was looking funny for a second, but I was like kind of like glazing over it, but yeah, not so much anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think there's too many cards that are going to be ripped out of this set for competitive play, so not too much to look for. Okay, there's our first Terra EX. We already have that, I believe. I think we've got three of them now. <laughs> I think I've got three of them. I need to pull out the pack of penny sleeves, which I haven't done yet, because now we're already running to triples and all that kind of stuff. Forget doubles, we're already in triple view, and I think there's an A spec card. Yep, there it is. Um, you can just feel it when you're opening it. Uh, Scramble Switch. Switch your active Pokemon with one of your bench Pokemon. If you do, you may move any amount of energy from that Pokemon. Wow. I guess switching in and out between like, you know, like Dragapults or Terrapagosis or anything. That's pretty cool. Wow. That's not a bad A-spec. I feel like that's going to find some use. That's definitely going to see some use. That's... That's... That's cool. <laughs> that that reminds me of, um... What was that one? Dragon Elixir. Heal 60 damage from you. It's an Erica card. That's not a. That's not a supporter. Um, yeah. Wow. That's. It reminds me. If obviously you know we've um we're we're talking surging sparks here, but you know we've also had the launch of Pokemon TCG Pocket. And if you've played the game a bit, or you like you know paid a little bit of attention to the cards that are in there, there's the uh, what the Lieutenant Surge card that like moves all the. Like as many energies from your benched Pokemon to your Raichu, or I think he has there's, there's two in it, right? There's to your Raichu or something. Zapdos, I think. I think it is. That's like ah oh, the Brava, nice. I think in the other one we got yeah we got the Vivalon in the other one. Is it Vivalon? Valon? Vivalon? You know what? I can look it up here. We've got the stack of cards right here. We can... Oh no, we got two five hammers. Ah! <laughs> I thought I got the other one. No, we doubled up again. <laughs> oh dear. That's not good. That is sad. Well, you know what? It is what it is, right? Just find people early, trade for what they have, what you don't have. Have to take a page out of the book that I'm preaching from. Tis what it is. Uh, one, two, three, four. To the front. Come on, SIR. Pop out of here, please. We need you. We really, really need you. I'm doing this all back to front. This should be going here. The reverse hollow should be going there. Because it just makes it easy. There we go. There we go. We've got some... We've got some normality back. Alright, so one, two, three, four. That's nothing. I was kind of getting like a, I was copping a feel just then. I was like, oh. that felt a little more, a little bit more rougher than it like usually does. Deduction kit. Let's have a read of this one. Put the top three cards in your deck and put them back in any order, or shuffle them and put them onto the bottom of your deck. Yeah, 
That'd be kind of cool, that camera up deck that I really want to make. <laughs> you know the one, the one from Obsidian Flames. And it's like, I do whatever destruction, and then you and your opponent have to mill the top card of both of your decks, and if it's an energy, then it deals an extra 50 damage each or something. So, I could definitely put a fire, and then if you use the... the is it Team Star Grunt? Yeah, I think it's Team Star Grunt, where it knocks an energy from the active Pokémon to the top of their deck. So they're definitely taking extra 100 damage. <laughs> Middle memo, like this. I really want to make it. I really want it to work. Just, I mean, it's not going to be anywhere near meta, and it'll be like, you'll probably get creamed by meta decks, but it'd just be funny beating some of it. It's like beating some of, like, United Wings decks. It's just funny. <laughs> it's just like, oh no, I got beaten by birds. Let's go to the lane. Go, Captain Boys. But yeah, no, I don't think there's too much to look for out in this, um, this set in terms of thing. I think. This set feels far more of a collector's set than an actual competitive set. Like, there's a few cards, but nothing really. Nothing really. Alright, there we go. We've got our first full art trainer. We've got Surfer. Chuck this to the side. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering when those berries are actually ever going to become, like... They're so iconic to the game. And the berries just don't get any limelight. Like, the one that I was talking about was, uh... Who was it? It was here just a second ago. I saw it. Yeah, it that thing. Like, you know, all the berries are popping up, but they just... Spoke was attached to damage by an attack by your opponent. See, like, it's so... The way they've made it... It's so situational. It's like... Like, you'd be you'd play that... If you knew that, like, literally every everybody in the hall was using Charizard or something. <laughs> But it's like still such a risk because it can just easily be a dead card very quickly. Like they just don't attack with Charizard, they just attack with Charmeleon or something, you know what I mean? Use his appeal, is a rude. And da 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 da. I feel like Jasmine's gaze. Yeah. See I wouldn't I wouldn't like I like I'm not a I'm not an amazing player Pokemon, but I wouldn't use them. You know, I wouldn't they don't feel like they spark joy at all. No pun intended. They just don't really spark joy. Like they're like, oh yeah, this would be very useful to me. They just don't. They don't feel that way. Put that to the side. All right. So I was gonna say that this side's feeling pretty empty, but we've got five hits. But I'll say it in the sense of it's empty because the five hits are like mostly all doubled up and all that kind of stuff, which is a little bit of a feels bad. Usually you start to see doubles and triples and all that kind of stuff when you get to your second case. I'm only two boxes in. But to be fair, we did open up the PR stuff as well, which is probably why I'm seeing a little bit of like a... A little bit of deja vu. A little bit of deja vu. And see the terror orbs. These are the ones you want to keep. These terror orbs are going to be very, very, very good. I think they won't be worth as much as. Um... And then again, it depends because I haven't seen many. I think that's like the second one I've seen in two boxes so far. Um, I don't think you'll get to the worth point value of Earthen Vessel. If you know, you know. Um, if you don't know, Paradox Rift, I think it is. Go back and go and fish out all your. Fish out all your earthen vessels, hollow, like reverse hollow and, no and normal. Thank me later. Just, just go get them. Figure out if you've got them. Oh, we got the Sylveon. Well, for a second there, I was opening um, Prismatic Evolutions just then. <laughs> I was like, um, too early, too early. Counter gain. If you have more prize cards remaining than your opponent, and attacks used by your Pokemon, this card is attached to your cost. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost like they forget what kind of like cards they've made beforehand before they release these newer ones. It's like, what are you expecting people to do with these? It's almost like they like create each set purely based on the pre-release events. And after that, it's for the collectors. One, two, three, four. Oh, where's that SIR? Come on. Don't do this to me. Give me something. 
Give me Pika. Give me that little yellow rat. Or the, or the appeal. The appeal would be good. Rat and appeal. Summons quick. Wait, what was that one again? Heal 60 damage from each of your lightning Pokemon. Mm. It wouldn't be that bad, actually, that one. That one's not too bad. But from each of your lightning Pokemon, right? Yeah, that, that one's not too bad. That one I would probably use if you're, like, you know, doing the Maridon or whatever. That one's not too terrible. That one's actually pretty cool. That one's pretty good. Alright, last packet on the right-hand side. And nothing. Okay, so my right-hand sides have failed today. Um, but we did get six hits on that side. So... Alarmingly, it's looking like this is going to be a low box again, but all the hits could come flying out of this left-hand side, which Team Tony yet again delivering. Considering what I've got so far, this right-hand side is a A-spec. Ah, now the etch enriching energy. Alright, so we're doubling up on that already. A-specs, I can't be, really be too surprised that we're going to be doubling up on quite often. Um, I don't think there's that many in the set. Blender, Switch, Energy. Think there might be another two? Can't remember. Can't remember. Casper Kid, Grafia, and Tapalele. Check that there. Oh yeah, I guess I gotta get used to doing like, you know, going going fast. Because we are closer, cl closer, closer. Getting closer to being able to go. We've got melodic bass, but I think we've already got that as well. So again, the bass EX is you know, it doesn't matter how many boxes you open, you're going to be doubling up and tripling up. Um, we're getting closer to starting that stuff on the TikTok channel, the uh, cardboard cane on TikTok as well. We'll be doing live books and that kind of stuff. So if you can, give it a visit, give it some support, especially if you're an Australian local. Because then we can send it out to you straight away. Uh, hopefully I have more luck on the... Like, you know, I probably have more luck with other people's stuff than my own. <laughs> I definitely would. I'd have more luck with other people's stuff than my own. I can pick them for other people. Not myself. Alright, Scatterbug. Is that the... Yeah! <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the old art. Yeah, it is. Cool, 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 cool. <gasps> Big chase of two down. Like, I mean, what's the... What are the chases in this? You know, you know what? Pre-release. <laughs> Pre-release thing. Alright, so the big ones... There's a lot of gold cards in here. Pikachu, Executor, Counter Gain, Gravity Mountain, Night Stretcher, and Jet Energy. So, Jet Energy's gonna be expensive. The other one's probably not so much. Pikachu will be a lot. So, we've got Leisure's Appeal. We want Jasmine's Gaze. And then for the Pokemon... Oh, there's quite a few Pokemon, isn't there? Jesus. Even Archludon's got one. There's so many. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. But at least we got the pill. We got the appeal. That's a good start. That's a very good start. We got we got the first SIR, big hitter one. And then the appeal. Um Okay, good. Good. Whew. Okay, put that over there. Okay, this box was worth it. It's all good now. It's all good. Now Something that I did notice when opening Surging Sparks, I don't think I ran into a double banger box. I don't think I did. I don't remember running into one. Oh, there we go. We've got Latias Full Art. Good one to get. I'll take that any day of the week. Um, yeah, I don't think that there is a... Get in your home. I don't think we ran into a double banger box, and I'm not too sure if they exist anymore. 
Um, if you if you guys out there do remember your surging sparks hits, and also going along the surging like no sorry, stellar crown hits and going on to surging sparks, if you have hit like you know a two SIR box or like you know an SIR plus a gold card in one box, let me know. Because I'm trying to figure out whether or not they've taken that away or not. Because, yeah, I didn't run it. I don't think I ran into it with Stellar Crown. I, I think it would jump out at me if it did. But I don't think we did. I mean, to be fair, we only opened up one case. But going backwards, and I think probably right before Twilight Masquerade. So I, I think my Masquerade didn't really have it. But my luck with that was pretty terrible. Um, we're going to Cyclizer. Um... Yeah, I haven't I haven't noticed any more double banger boxes. They've been doing them for a while too. Uh, would they be doing it for a while? I know they didn't start off with Scarlet Violet and Paldea and Obsidian, but then they started doing it with Paradox and Temporal and all that other stuff. So yeah, I'm I'm curious to know whether or not they've taken away the double banger boxes. So if you guys out there have or know someone that has like personally know someone that has not just like oh yeah i know a guy who threw my cousin that thingy thing that found on reddit and they did it no i, I like i want legitimately <sighs> we've got this guy already god dang it <laughs> keep doubling up on ars dad stop um yeah i would i would like to know from first-hand experience if anyone out there actually has opened up a double banger box in this set and the previous set and you know what, even, even Twilight Masquerade, if you've managed to do it in there as well, because, you know, then the sample size will go back a little bit further. Um, yeah, because I'm really curious, because it feels like, it feels like they might have taken that away, purely because, you know, that they've made the hit rates go slightly down to make it a little bit more exciting for the people that want the chase, and exciting for the people that want to collect for investment or for, you know, capital gain um but yeah it's it's just a little bit strange like i feel like they might have taken it away because from recent memory i haven't really remembered usually when i get a double banger box it's an alt art and then a gold card that's usually that's usually what my double banger box looks like whereas yeah, I don't think I remember any of it happening. I can't. Like, I'm, I'm sitting there trying to rack my brain right now. And, yeah, nothing from recent memories coming. So, right now we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 hits out of the booster box with an SIR. It's still in the low end of hits, so there's probably still something... Something biggish in here, maybe. I don't need to know. I don't. I don't need to ask your friends. I don't need you to ask your family members. I don't need you to ask that guy that you know from, that knows this other guy that's three times removed from the family that found it on Reddit. I just stand to my own question. It's. I just. <laughs> you can't. If it was anyone else, you'd think it was scripted. <laughs> Which is why I like doing the things the way I do it. One cut. You see me open it all. You see me un. un Chief the box, there's no cuts in the video, there's no like, oh, I'm just gonna change the, cam the camera to me walking down the street and all of a sudden I'm gonna slip this in here. Nah. If it was anyone else, I'll, I, I'll, yeah. I wouldn't even, oh, Amigo, nice. I wouldn't even blame if someone said, oh, that's scripted. Liar. Casual content creator L type thing, but nah. <laughs> there's a reason why I like doing things a certain way. I mean, I'll get into all that vloggy stuff when I start to get a little bit more confident, like waving a camera around in front of people's faces in public and all that kind of stuff. Obviously, still being a lot more polite than, you know. But, um, yeah, I, I, I do in, <laughs> I, I do rather enjoy not irritating people in public. <laughs> but, yeah, you can't really, you can't make that up right there. Like that, that, that was... Because I didn't hit one in, in Stellar Crown, and I didn't hit one in Twilight. So that to happen right there, as I'm talking about it, is kind of funny to me. 
Meryl, Palkia, and... Okay, we got another full art boy. We can probably trade for someone else for that guy. So we're not going to complain about that. I'm going to chuck him in a sleeve because it's worth it. And then we're going to go through our things. I think we actually managed to hit the 14 hit mark, I think. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. No, we hit the high ball. So we hit into like the, the high range. So it looks like... And I think we only hit in the high range because of the double SIR hit. Or the SIR and secret hit. So keep that in mind. So we got a scramble switch. Oh god, some of these aren't, aren't sleeved, but it's all slipping out. We got the Terra Base Executor. We got the Scovalane. Sylveon, which kind of made me feel like we were opening Prismatic Evolutions out of nowhere. Vibrava. Surfer. Now the Enriching Energy. Milotic Base. Oh, I should have slaved them all. <sighs> Thankfully, we got our first SIR, and it's probably one of the bigger ones. I, I don't know if it's worth more than the Pikachu, or the Pikachu's worth more, but I think they're pro pretty... <laughs> it's not something you want to be buying, right? It's, you, you want to be pulling these big ones, so it's all good. So we got the Leisure's Appeal. Latius. Cyclizar. Slipping away. Slack off. The Golden Gravity Mountain. The one that I called. Pretty pretty good. Pretty good. Can't complain. Uh, Flamingo EX. I would have preferred if that was Jet Energy though. Just or Pikachu. Just saying. I'm not I'm not asking for much. Uh, Flamingo. And another full art executor, but obviously the stars of the box, Leisure's Appeal. And the Gravity Mountain, because it also made me look like a gigantic... I don't know. It looks sus, right? It was a bit sus, but you know how it is here. We, we do it in one single take because because we care. Far out, that was great. I'm, I'm happy with that box. That box was making me feel a little bit... Mm, especially after the first box that we opened and all the other stuff. I think that's brought it right back around really quickly. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. You guys take it easy. Catch me in a couple days for another Booster Box opening. Take it easy.